Hi, everybody. My name is Shana Cavuto. I am manager of the customer care team here at Pepper Jam. Today's webinar is on working with loyalty publishers. So before I jump right in, um, I just wanted to let you know you can feel free to submit questions throughout the presentation. I'll get to those and answer those at the end. Uh, I'm also going to be recording this webinar, and by early next week, it should be available within the Knowledge Center uh, that you can find under the resource, resources tab of your account. Okay, so let's jump right in. And I'd like to kick it off with the definition of what is a loyalty publisher. So loyalty publishers are publishers that offer shoppers an incentive to make a purchase with them. These incentives can be in the form of cash back, uh, they can be in the form of airline miles, points, even contributions to a charity. Um, one thing that I want to point out I, is a common misconception, I think, that a lot of merchants believe that they have to fund both the cash back as well as commission to these publishers, and that's actually not the case. Um, they work just like any other publisher. Uh, you offer them your commission rate, and what they do is they will split the commission um, with, the, with the end consumer so that they're offering half of that commission as cash back. Um, it depends on the publisher that you're working with. Some do a 50-50 split, some is 60-40. Um, and in some cases, like Top Cash Back, they pass back the full commission amount as cash back to their consumers. So a couple examples of these publishers, which I'm sure you're familiar with, would be eBay, Mr. Rebate, Shop at Home, and Good Shop. So now that we know what a loyalty publisher is, why would you want to work with them? Uh, well, there are several reasons. Uh, number one, I think, is building brand awareness. So loyalty publishers help you to reach a large established audience of consumers. Uh, Ebates alone has over 10 million members. They can also help to drive new customers. Um, and you can do this through offers, through placements, through competitive cashback rates. Um, to add to that, I can tell you that I myself, I am an Ebates shopper, and I like to buy shoes pretty frequently. Uh, one thing that I do is, hop onto Ebates and I'll go to the shoes category and I'll actually sort the merchants based on uh, the cashback rates. So I'm always willing to check out new merchants, new brands if I see a cashback rate that's really competitive and appealing. These loyalty sites can also help you to move old inventory. Uh, I've had a lot of advertisers use loyalty sites to push outdated stock um, because these loyalty sites are really experts at moving clearance items. Loyalty sites also reward customers. So if you have that shopper who's on the fence of whether or not they're going to go through with a purchase, uh, cash back can be, you know, the one thing that, that really pushes them forward and, and has them make that purchase. And then finally, uh, driving revenue. So if revenue is up there as far as your goals or KPIs that you have set for the program, uh, you definitely want to check out loyalty publishers because many of them um, are top performers across Pepper Jam. So how do you identify these publishers? Who do you decide to, to work with? Um, the best way, I think, to do this is through Pepper Jam's Optimizer tool. If you're not using this tool, I highly, highly suggest that you start utilizing it for all of your recruitment efforts. Um, you can find a link to Optimizer right within the top nav of the interface. Uh, once you click on Optimizer and log in, uh, you'll arrive at a Publisher Recommendations tab. And if you hop over to the next tab for the Publisher search, uh, you're going to see, actually, it's a new preset that we've added fairly recently. Um, there's a filter there that will allow you to do a top 100 gap analysis, which will show you your program's relationship with the top 100 performing publishers across Pepper Jam, which I think is really, really fantastic to have at your fingertips. You can even drill down a little bit further with the filters uh, by selecting loyalty under the promotional method so that you can clearly identify who are the top 100 loyalty publishers on Pepper Jam, and who do you have a relationship with, and who can you look to recruit. So once you have your list of your publishers, um, these are a few questions that you should ask yourself when you're recruiting for loyalty or really any other um, promotional method for your program. Uh, one thing to do is always see if your, if your com competitors are being promoted on these sites. You know, I like to make a list of the top three to five top competitors, and then I hop on to these loyalty sites and see, are these competitors being promoted? Um, if your competitor has a presence on these sites, really you should too. Uh, number two, does the publisher reach an audience that you're trying to target? 
uh, I think the best way to find this out is to review the publisher's media kit. Oftentimes the media kit will include information like household income, the gender, the age range of, of the base of their audience. So that's always good to be aware of. The next thing is, are you able to meet any requirements that they have for partnerships? Uh, there are some publishers that do require integration fees. Um, some might have just a, like Shop at Home, a short form or addendum that you have to fill out. But it's always good to make sure that you have, uh, you're able to meet any requirements to make that partnership happen. And then finally, can that publisher help you to achieve your program's goals? So as I mentioned before, if, if revenue is one of your goals, you should probably be looking to partner with some of the top performers on Pepper Jam, especially top loyalty performers. So once you establish a partnership, how you optimize with these loyalty publishers? And there's lots of different things that you can do. Uh, one thing that I think is really important to do on a regular basis uh, is a cashback analysis. So this is where you take um, some of your strongest competitors and compare your cashback rate to what they're offering um, across each of the lo loyalty publishers that you're working with. And this will help you to identify um, specific publishers where your cashback might not be as competitive as one of your competitors. So that's somewhere that you might want to make a change. Uh, conversely, it can also show you if you are offering you know, a, a much more assertive cashback rate than one of your competitors. And in that case, you can maybe scale it back a little bit and see some cost savings there from that initiative. Um, this is something that should be done, I would recommend, at least on a quarterly basis because Commission rates fluctuate all the time, you know, especially as we're heading into Q4. Some other things that you can do with loyalty include extra cashback events. So the majority of these loyalty publishers uh, frequently have extra cashback events. Um, Mr. Rebates has them all the time. And most of the time you guys can, com can participate in a cashback event uh, just in exchange for an increased commission. Sometimes it's increased commission plus a flat fee. It all depends on the publisher. Um, one place that you can find opportunities like this is actually right within your interface in the notification section. There's a link there for publisher opportunities and placements. Um, so that's something to check out on a regular basis. I would look at that weekly because we update that all the time with new placements that are available. Next, outside of extra cashback events, are offering increased commission in exchange for additional exposure. Um, so a lot of publishers will allow you to get extra exposure just in exchange for that. A um, couple of examples of those are extra bucks and good shop. Next is to create customized offers with a higher purchase threshold to increase lifetime consumer value and AOV. So this is where you can really drive some incremental revenue with these loyalty publishers. And then last, uh, create vanity codes for opportunity to increase added site exposure. Publishers love to have vanity codes. It's always a great idea to have conversations with these publishers. Let them know what you're able to offer, what your goals are, you know, pick their brains, what are their suggestions, what are their recommendations. Another tactic that I think is frequently overlooked is creating co-branded landing pages. So this would be a dedicated landing page or a page with some specific messaging for any shoppers that come from a loyalty site. Uh, so what these do is just kind of reinforce that there is a relationship between you as a merchant and this loyalty site um, and just kind of reassures the shopper like you, you are getting your cash back. A couple of things to include on that is uh, the current cash back rate just to reassure that shopper. Um, verbiage that welcomes the shopper from the publisher referred site. Any exclusives that you want to highlight or promote. Um, of course, a call to action. And if you have any restrictions around that offer, it's always a good idea to include that as well. Uh, I've worked with a lot of merchants in the past that have implemented some of these tactics, and we've definitely seen positive increases in conversion rates due to those efforts. And then finally, one of the last things that you could do with loyalty publishers is to target new to file. Um, create offers that are valid for new customers only. I have a lot of clients that are really interested in targeting new customers, and I think it's really important to provide your publishers with the tools to do just that. So having an offer that will appeal to new customers specifically is, is definitely always a great thing to do. Something else you could do to target new to file is uh, solo targeted newsletters. So one of the great things about these loyalty publishers is all of their members have accounts with them. So these 
loyalty shop loyalty affiliates they they know their their user shopping habits they have a whole history on that um, so what you can do is actually get involved with um, targeted solo newsletters that will target those shoppers that have maybe shopped through your competitors but never through you um, the capabilities will vary from publisher to publisher. So again, I think it's always really important to have these conversations with publishers, see what they can do, let them know what your goals are, um, and they'll let you know what, what they have to offer that you can achieve them. So that's really all I had. Very short and sweet webinar today. Um, I just wanted to do a very high level because these are some questions that I get pretty frequently about loyalty in general. So thanks everybody so much for your time today and enjoy your day and stay tuned for next month's webinar. Thanks. Bye.